Hello, my wonderful Capricorn Collective. This is your weekly energy read, trying to see what your energy is like, who's in it, and what is going on. I feeling like I'm feeling like y'all got a lot going on. A lot with the home and work. A lot of home and work and dreams. Whatever these dreams are, they're gonna keep you balanced and stable. You might need to know who, what, where affected your past lives and they may be affecting this life. This is all about dreams. A lot of dreams tell us a lot of things. And this is going to keep you focused and grounded. Sometimes you feel like, no, that can't be. But it really be. Look at that. Angel numbers. Mastering. The knowledge, the wisdom that those angel numbers are trying to tell you. These angel numbers are always speaking to you in the present, in the right now. So when you see them, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? And where are you at? This is all about aligning those chakras, those energies with what is going on. So you can understand what is going on internally with you. And I already said to keep you abundant, lucky. Those dreams are going to be telling you lots of things. This can lead to longevity when it comes to abundance, legacy money, building legacy money off of this knowledge, these gifts that the universe, your ancestors are going to bless you with. Flexible, being very flexible in your life. The universe is noticing that. You are taking your time. You are mastering whatever is thrown at you that you don't even know. You are you are flexible. You're not overreacting. You're not taking those feelings and making them personal. You are trying to understand what the universe, the ancestors, the realms are trying to teach you. You have lots of inner strength. And that is going to help you on your journey. All this inner strength. Tell me more for the wonderful Capricorns. Tell me more. Money, baby. Money, baby. Prosperity, baby. Prosperity, baby. And guess what? You earned it. Masculine, feminine. You earned it. So don't let nobody try to take that away from you. Act like the ancestors just blessed you and you ain't do the work too because you earned it. Community. This community. More eights. This is infinity. This is connection with the angel masters in abundance. This community. Ancestors. I'm getting ancestors. They're connecting you with the right Choices, decisions, by keeping you up to date, letting you recognize and notice a lot of things. Making sure you are paying attention to your body. Sometimes things feel a little off and you don't know, but it will come to you. It's just meant to ground you, keep you centered. What else? One more for the caps. One more for the caps. What else these caps need to know? Spending a lot of time to yourself. Mastering these things that are being thrown at you. That is the key. You're not going to know what is coming your way. But your job is to take your time. Master it. Grow into the energy. Grow into the energy. Connect within. To see exactly what it is saying to you. Lots of releasing. Lots of knowledge and co- knowledge coming in as you release a lot of things. This is going to bring you a lot of luck on this this journey, this path you are embarking on. Lots of luck. What else the wonderful Capricorns need to know the most? There is a Pisces that is helping you. I was about to say Pisces. So it's a Pisces that's keeping you grounded, letting you know what is taking you off kill. So you have counsel. You have counsel, Capricorns. Keep paying attention to that counsel. Sometimes you might not like what they have to tell you, but it's all for the benefit of you and your success for your legacy. 
a night of cups. This is all about new love, old love, trying to make it fresh, new love, wanting to offer you something from the heart, something that means something. Make sure the face is not deceiving you because people wear lots of masks when they come for something that you have that they want. So make this person earn it every time. They have to earn you every time. That way they will appreciate you. Queen of Wands. You have a lot of Leo energy within you. A lot of, lot of fire. You are grounded. You are connected. And you are balanced. You have a lot of strength. I said that you have a lot of inner strength. The realms are very loving to you, open to you, and connect with you a lot. Queen of Wands energy. Very spiritual, very witchy, and comfortable in that element. Comfortable in that element. What else? I'm picking up a female energy. Lots of options coming to you. Because of the solitude. Lots of luck because of the solitude, knowing that you come first and not in a selfish way, knowing that you can't partake on all options because they are not good for you. You've mastered a lot of things when it comes to emotions. Also people, you're not impulsive, not impulsive. Eights and sevens. And letting things go and stay it centered in the present is what's working for you. If it don't make sense, it got to go. I got the sun card in reverse. Somebody doesn't see how you're being flexible. They don't get it with the sun card in reverse. Either they don't get it or they don't want to get it. They don't want to get it. This can be someone who have a lot of fire in their chart. Leo likes to be seen in a public eye. They don't understand how you're being flexible because you're not letting them overstep your boundaries. Tell me about the sun card in reverse. Tell me about the sun card in reverse. Sun card in reverse. Tell me about the sun card in reverse. The, your decision. You chose you. And whoever want to come along with you will be right by your side if they choose to. Remember, it's a choice. You made the choice. You're focusing, you're focusing on your abundance. You're focusing on the things that you need to be flexible with. And you're not caring about immature feelings. People being immature with their feelings has nothing to do with you. What else do, do the Capricorns need to know? That is their problem. Don't make it yours. Keep your boundaries high and don't let them cross it. And if they do, it should be, it should be repercussions because of it. You don't get to do what you want to do with me. I'm not doing that with you. So please don't do that with me. That's a sign of disrespect. When, you, when there's a sign of disrespect, that means you have nothing. You don't value my time. You don't value me as a person. Strength. Leo energy. Come through strength. You are strong. You are grounded. You know what you are doing. You are connected to the universe, to divinity. You have a massive amount of strength. And this is what's guiding you through. Your strength. Your knowledge. Courage. Bravery, confidence, compassion, self-confidence, and power. And people don't like that on you. Who the hell you think you are is what I hear. Oh, you think you better than everybody. No, you just think less of yourself, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. It's your air that you breathe that you are not happy with. So don't pretend like it's me. The fool. Taking a leap of faith on self, on what passion, desire, putting yourself out there like you should. The fool. 